So if you just signed up for Kajabi and you're trying to figure out how to navigate the Kajabi dashboard and work your way all around, use all the features and tools that are available to you in this amazing all-in-one platform, this video is for you. I'm gonna walk you through the Kajabi dashboard, show you what everything does, and by the end of this, you'll have a good grasp on what to do first second, third, and so on to make sure that you have the best start on Kajabi. This is the sixth video of my series called Crush It on Kajabi in 90 Days. I'm doing 90 straight days of videos all about your online business and Kajabi and how to build and grow a successful online business using this amazing platform. If you're thinking about checking out Kajabi, be sure to use my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. You get two amazing perks when you do that. 45 minute Zoom call with me to talk all about Kajabi and help you get the best start possible. And my $25,000 course launch email template. Those are the exact emails that I used to launch my first course which made over $25,000 in the first three launches. Both of those perks are yours simply for using my link, which is an affiliate link. So I do get a small commission when you do that. So I appreciate it very much. lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. All right, so let's dive into the dashboard. This is what it looks like when you first sign on and you've got everything. <coughs> this is the newest addition to my office headquarters here. His name is Hendrix and sometimes he makes noise, but I try not to let him distract too much. You wanna say hi? <laughs> okay, moving on. So when you sign on, this is the dashboard. You have the people who have opted in. This means that they have downloaded your lead magnet and have gotten into your email list. This is how many sales you've had in the last 30 days, the number of members who have joined in the last 30 days and then comments in the last 30 days. Different resources and things that you can utilize down here. I definitely, definitely recommend that you do Heroes First Steps in Kajabi University and Kajabi Foundations if you are new to Kajabi. Now, over here, we have a few different things. We have the website, which you can design your website here. This is like your homepage and the different, uh, like the, the blog posts, things like that. Then you can do pages right here, where this is like any page you wanna add to your site are all right here. The blog, so any blogs that you wanna put on your site are all here. And then analytics, which will kind of walk you through all the different uh, numbers and statistics and things on your site. If we move along to products, this is where you can add a new product. So a product is like an online course, a membership site, and they also now have coaching products as well as podcasts, which is right here, podcast. I haven't started a podcast on Kajabi, but I will get started and launch a podcast at some point, which is really cool. I have a podcast that's currently hosted on Buzzsprout, but I'm gonna dabble in starting a podcast on Kajabi, and I'll do it in this series later on in, this, in these videos. Sales is just the showing the offers that you've made and the payments that you've gotten throughout the course of your time on Kajabi. Marketing is where your emails are. So email campaigns, your pipelines, this is like your sales funnels, they all live in here. Automations, this is something that we're gonna talk about later in this series. It's kind of an if this, then that. Events, think of this like when, you're, when your launches start, when they finish, if you do a webinar, things like that. And then of course, forms, a lot of things in Kajabi are form driven. So uh, even like your, your lead magnet, people fill out a form and then that form triggers automations, like they get an email or they're subscribed to an auto sequence or whatever. And then people, this is your uh, people who have subscribed to your email list. The very first thing I would, I would do, and I actually just had a coaching call, I just had one of my 45 minute sessions with a new person who used my link. And one of the things that we talked about in here was that you wanna go to settings right down here. And these site settings, when you first jump into Kajabi, I would walk through each one of these. So like take site details. You can put in the title, you can put in the support email, you can put in the logo, the favicon, like 
all of the things that you want to put in so that your site has standard settings that you set and not a bunch of blank space. You got good SEO information. The domain, I would definitely get a custom domain and point it to it. So it's preachingdonkey.com instead of preaching-donkey.mykajabi.com, which is the kind of default domain that I got when I signed on. So I had to get my domain and have it point to Kajabi. It's super easy to do. They walk you through it, but I would definitely do that. I would set up my payment integrations, which is like Stripe and PayPal. So I have Stripe set up. I haven't ever done PayPal. I might at some point, but I have Stripe right now. And then uh, third-party integrations, email templates, whatever you want to do. I would make. I, I would just go through step by step through each one of these, and make sure that you understand the settings and that you know each one of what each one of these are, what they do, and what preferences you have. And then if you get stuck, you can go to help. There's a couple of ways that you can get help. You can visit the help center, which is actually a really good resource. Um, these are really cool, like Kajabi University, for example. These are all kinds of courses that you can take by Kajabi about Kajabi. So how to uh, build a membership site and community. If you're gonna do that, you can literally just take these courses and it will walk you through how to do things, which is pretty cool. If you need live chat, you just click right there. It brings up this chat box and you can ask. My thing that I tell everybody that I coach through Kajabi, set aside time every day where you're gonna get on Kajabi and you're gonna get stuff done. And when you first get on, a lot of it is setting up the domain, setting up the site details, setting up your blog settings. Um, mapping out your first product, setting up your website, getting some landing pages set up for your lead magnets. Those kind of things are some of your first steps on Kajabi. And as I said, this is the Kajabi dashboard. So it can seem like a lot at first, and it is because it's an all-in-one online business platform. It just contains a lot of stuff. However, it doesn't have to be overwhelming. I would start there. I would walk through each one of these things on the left panel one by one and just try to understand each thing that you're looking at. And if you don't understand, then get the help you need so that you're making progress on Kajabi right away. I love when I see people jump on Kajabi and get moving. I think most people who aren't successful in online business and on the platform is when they'll just sign up and let it sit for a long time because they're intimidated by what they see here. Once you get into it, you'll realize it's very simply laid out. It's very user friendly. And as always, I'm here to help. Leave a comment below if you have questions. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and go ahead and sign up for Kajabi using my link. That would be a great way to get started and get inside the Kajabi dashboard for yourself. You can continue in this series or you can click right here on this playlist and see more videos about Kajabi. Either way, I'll either see you in that playlist or in the next video.